Excellency, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktou. Excellency, Chief Executive Officer of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, Mr. Abdullah Abdullah. Prime Minister of Vanuatu, Charlotte Sawe. Ministers, Ambassadors, Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. When the decision was made to hold our 20th Plenary Potential Conference in the United Arab Emirates, it felt like a homecoming for ITU. We are proud to return to Dubai, where ITU has had major successful events in the past, such as World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly 2012, ITU Telecom World 2012, World Conference International Telecommunication 2012, and World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014. Thank you to the United Arab Emirates for hosting PP18. I think that here I'd like to add uh, some information that uh, with this hosting, UAE becomes the only country in the world of IT families to host all the major, to chair the, all the major events of IT, including World Radio Conference. And we don't have yet WRC in UAE, but we did have a chairman who helped us to chair the World Radio Conference 2012. So we thank you very much, UAE, and for hosting our event. And at this time, the UAE also promised us to have this uh, Plenary Potential Conference 2018. It's the greenest and one of the most successful Plenary Potential Conference. Here, more than anywhere else, the digital transformation of the economy and the social society has taken on a whole new dimension from the ICD fund to the Emirates Blockchain Strategy 2021, the United Arab Emirates is a pioneer in the world of ICT. And today, Dubai becomes world capital of ICT. This new decade promises to bring even more transformable opportunities than the last in the UAE and elsewhere. New technologies like 5G, artificial intelligence, big data, the Internet of Things, will change how we live, work, and learn in ways that have yet to be imagined. And ITU is in the front line. The challenge before us today is to ensure that these technologies and ICT in general, continue to be a source for good for everyone across the world. And that is why the UAE strategy for artificial intelligence is driven by the belief that AI should be a medium for inclusion. Here in the United Arabic Emirates, mobile broadband penetration is three times as high as the global and regional averages. The percentage of individuals using the internet in the country already approaches 95%. Unfortunately, that is not the case everywhere around the world, far from it. Right now, over half of the world's population is still not using the internet cut off from today's digital economy. As we debate over the next three weeks how to build the skills and the ICT infrastructure necessary to foster inclusive economic growth and trust, let us work as one. Earlier this morning, I had got good news. In Japan, the United Arab Emirates launched its successfully its ninth Khalifa set into orbit. I offer my sincere congratulations 
to the UAE Space Agency, the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center, and TIA, of course, to the people of UAE on this satellite launch. I think that this is a nice gift from our host country to make ITU family double happiness today. In the year of Zayed, let me conclude with the late founding father, Sheikh Zayed bin Soden Ar Nakhyan, who once said, future generations will be living in a world that is very different from that to which we are accustomed. It is essential that we prepare ourselves and our children for that new world. So our world is changing fast, and ITU is changing with it. May Plenipotential Conference 2018 prepare ourselves and our children for that new world. May we always remember that we are stronger together, that what unites us is the common vision of a connected world where information and communication technologies is a source for good for everyone, everywhere. Thank you very much.